You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Miraculous Ladybug is a series with a gallery of complex and intriguing villains. Each episode introduces someone new whose goals and allegiances with Hawk Moth challenge Ladybug and Cat Noir. Some villains return more than once due to their aptitude for negative emotions, but a powerful few deserve a chance to revisit their villainous personas. In this video, we're reviewing some villains who should rejoin Gabriel Agrest's side. You must have been pretty surprised to discover there was another holder. I'm really sorry, Cat Noir. Number 10, Sandboy. There are few instances in Miraculous Ladybug when an akumatized villain doesn't have an introductory scene. The formula for most episodes includes showing a civilian of Paris alongside the circumstances that lead them to siding with Hawk Moth. In the episode Sandboy, the main plot follows the Kwamis as they attempt to connect with Nuru on his 35th hundredth birthday. As the episode follows Tiki and Plague, as they re-enter the Miracle Box, it doesn't show that a young boy is akumatized into the titular villain. Sandboy can bring someone's worst nightmares to life. In Marinette's case, she witnesses a zombie like Adrian who is in love with Chloe. If Sandboy were to return in a newer season, Marinette's nightmares would likely be more plot relevant. They may pertain to losing the miraculous, Cat Blanc, or being akumatized herself. An episode exploring the character's deepest fears could further the story's overall narrative and show more sides to the characters. I'm making a serious mistake. I just felt the Kwame somewhere on the right bank of the Seine. Find them, capture them. Yes, Hawkmon. Number 9, Robustus. Miraculous Ladybug is a series that focuses heavily on magic. There are magical beings, objects, and powers uncovered more and more in each episode. That said, there are a few occasions where the series delves into the mechanical. A prime example of this is Max's robot companion, Markov, who is emotionally evolved and socially advanced. In his introductory episode, Robustus, Markov is akumatized and eventually turns his powers against Hawk Moth for personal gain. His ability to outmaneuver and attack the clever Gabriel Agrest is a testament to Markov's intelligence. In another episode, Hack San, Markov completes simultaneous tasks such as playing chess and completing scientific formulas before he is akumatized for the second time. With emotional awareness and key intellect, Markov's return as Robustus in the future could do a lot of damage if he had the right directive. Quest granted! Now give up! Nope, you empty your hard drive first. No, you first! Number 8, Manipula. If a character appears in Miraculous Ladybug, they'll likely return in the future. The series takes painstaking effort to give every character a purpose, even if they have minor relevance to the narrative. An example is a worker at the museum, Veronique, who is initially shown in the episode The Puppeteer 2 as she gives a tour of the wax statues. Veronique's brief appearance later pays off in the episode Determination. In the episode, she is akumatized into the villain, Manipula, because the mayor forbids her from opening an exhibit that features the French miraculous superhero team. Her powers allow her to bring wax figures to life, and she ends up with a compliant team of superheroes to do her bidding. Although her team is wax, they give Ladybug and Cat Noir trouble. If Manipula and her statues returned in the future, it would be interesting to watch them engage with the real heroes that inspired them. Gather in pairs and get me Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous! <laughs> Number 7, Safari. Natalie has had a long career in the Miraculous Ladybug story. Not only is she the assistant and close friend of Gabriel Agrest, but she is also the former wielder of the Peacock Miraculous. As the villain Myura, Natalie did everything to help Gabriel achieve his goals. It isn't until he fails to succeed in the episode Evolution that she questions her devout loyalty. Season 5 is a strenuous time for Natalie as she stays with the Agrest family for the sole purpose of helping to care for Adrian. In the episode Passion, Natalie returns to her roots to become the villain Safari. Although Natalie allows herself to be akumatized, she doesn't let the heroes defeat her without a proper fight. Her ability to never miss a target makes her dangerous and well-equipped to face Ladybug and Cat Noir. The desperation that led her to become Safari is also the perfect motivation for her future akumatizations. Number 6, Miracle Queen. Chloe is no stranger when it comes to being akumatized. If she were to be compared to her fellow characters, she has the most villain personas and some are of her own volition. After Chloe loses faith in Ladybug, she becomes a willing pawn in Hawk Moth's plans. One of her more powerful iterations is the villain Miracle Queen, who appears in the episodes Heart Hunter and Miracle Queen. 
With the powers of the Bee Miraculous, Miracle Queen uses a swarm of bees to turn innocent Parisians into her mindless servants. They must do everything they say, and after stinging several of the Miraculous wielders, she forces them to reveal their identities to Hawk Moth. The event is a blow to the heroes and gives Hawk Moth vital information that he uses in later plans. If Miracle Queen were to return, she could learn from her previous mistakes and pose a significant threat to Ladybug and Cat Noir. Oh no, not this one! Oh, why such ridiculous choices! Utterly ridiculous! Anyway, grab your Miraculous! Number 5. Time Tagger Time travel is a plot device heavily used in the series. There are heroes and villains alike that can harness its power, as shown in the episode Time Tagger. The story follows a villain from the future, Time Tagger, who arrives to take the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous from a younger version of the heroes. He can move people and objects throughout time, which significantly influences history. The sheer impact of his power encourages Bunnix, a time-traveling hero, to intervene. What's even more significant is that Time Tagger does not reveal a personal vendetta. He provides no motivation behind his akumatization and appears to receive nothing in return for helping the past Hawk Moth receive the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous. The situation implies that he aligned himself with Hawk Moth in the future, and if that is the case, it is safe to assume that he may become a recurring enemy of Paris's heroes. God. Number 4. Ikari Gozen As the series progresses, Gabriel Agreste finds himself with more capable allies to rely on. One of those allies is the mother of Kagami, Tomosorugi. She appears to be a personal friend to Gabriel as they interact in the same social circles and work together to create the Alliance Rings. Although Tomo is initially akumatized in the episode Ikari Gozen, she later allows herself to be akumatized to test the Alliance Ring's full capabilities. These events occur in the episode Multiplication, after Tomo reveals herself as an ally of Monarch. With Gabriel's help, she becomes Ikari Gozen, testing the ring's ability to transfer a miraculous power. She is given the power of the Mouse Miraculous and becomes the villain Ikari Dozen. After the experiment succeeds, they release the rings to the public. As of Season 5, Tomo's intentions behind helping Gabriel are unknown, but she remains a dangerous enemy. No! The Ark the Trio! Don't worry, Cat Noir. I can fix everything! <laughs> You'll have to defeat me first, Ladybug! Number 3. The Pharaoh On occasion, Gabriel grants an akumatized villain immeasurable power. Alex's older brother, Jaleel Kubdel, is a prime example of this phenomenon. Jaleel is akumatized after his father disregards his theories about an ancient Egyptian scroll. Turned into the villain, the pharaoh, in the episode of the same name, Jaleel can harness godly powers. As the pharaoh, he not only makes an army of mummies, but he also attempts to sacrifice Alia. The pharaoh does return in a later episode titled Reunion. In this episode, Jaleel is akumatized again after his little sister receives the rabbit miraculous. He is determined to bring Alex back to the present, and with her abilities as Bunnix allowing her to be gone for a significant amount of time, his desire to bring her home could lead to the pharaoh's future return. True that you would make a much more precious offering than this mortal. Horus, give me wings! Number 2. Miracular Ladybug is a remarkably resourceful superhero. Her lucky charm success arises from her strategy skills and quick thinking. Despite this, she still stumbles when her powers get taken by a villain in the episode Miracular. There are a few episodes in the series where Gabriel chooses to fight the heroes head on, but after Sabrina feels abandoned by Chloe in favor of Paris's heroes, he finds the perfect opportunity. Sabrina is akumatized into Miracular, a villain who can steal powers from heroes. The fight that ensues includes Ladybug, Cat Noir, Rena Rouge, Carapace, and Queen Bee. The fact that it takes an entire team of superheroes to defeat a single villain is a testament to Miracular's power and shows exactly why she should return in the future. <laughs> that tickles! Want some more? No, no! Shelter! <laughs> Number 1. Hoaxer Although Gabriel Agreste remains the series' most significant villain, he finds competition in another character, Lila Rossi. Lila is a classic manipulator and will do anything to turn a situation in her favor. She first appears in Season 1 and instantly makes an enemy of Marinette, who sees through her lies. In the episode Emotion, she makes an enemy out of Gabriel Agreste, who she knows to be Monarch. Her vendetta against Gabriel leads to her motivations in the episode Revelation. In the episode, she asks Gabriel to akumatize her into the villain Hoaxer, a variant of her former villain persona, Volpina. 
With her new powers, she can brainwash people through social media. As sly as the fox she usually represents, Lila uses her newfound powers to receive confidential information about Gabriel from Natalie. After obtaining his secrets, Lila renounces her akumatization, leaving Gabriel none the wiser about what she stole. The entire episode proves how resourceful Lila is and how she could continue to trick others as hoaxer. Me solta! Huh? It's no secret that some villains are more astute than others. The ones mentioned in today's video have powers or strategies that make Ladybug and Cat Noir work especially hard to win. While they may not return in future episodes, their capabilities make some of the most compelling fights in the series. Fans watching them for the first time can always count on being left on the edge of their seats. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Muck wouldn't have taken him hostage. He wouldn't have taken the miracle box. I'm the worst ladybug that has ever existed.